the NOTS project is to um, spread the idea of doing transdisciplinary research and teaching. And the idea is that all participating universities um, get an idea about this new form of knowledge production and maybe in the future um, we hope that young staff students um, can use it, will use it if they think it fits the context they are doing research in. This year we also have um, included already what we have learned, the challenges we faced during the last summer schools and field trip and I think it's really great how you know the Open University actually organized it um, and um, everything went perfect. I think we had interesting discussions, interesting field trips, we were also facing some challenges but I think um, the idea of um, how to do transdisciplinarity really get more through um, because of the project and because we are now in the final phase, so to speak. And uh, for me, actually, it's great to see the learning process and also see how people actually participated in. The first days of the summer school, we heard a lot about TDR, how to apply it in the field. And there were several speakers and they talked with us about their experiences and their research. Also this year there was were some people from NGOs. So this was a really interesting different view on TDR. So we've done a role play uh, where we had to catch the position of different actors. First to cooperate with people from Southeast Asia, from Europe and have this like intercontinental sort of cooperation and uh, to talk about issues that are pretty far removed geographically at least from, from what I'm used to, that was really cool. And I thought what was also really interesting is the very activist perspective that people in the summer school had on transdisciplinarity. So the idea that everything we do should serve a very specific, very on the ground social issue or some sort of problem that is there should be addressed by what we do. I think these were probably the two coolest things about the, the triangular trainers thing. The beauty of this system and the methodology itself is it creates opportunity for us to actually understand from things from different perspectives. And I think it's great that it's um, a kind of system that will actually help us to fix real problems in the real world. I think that the teaching manual was really helpful to expand my knowledge um, about the history of TDR and how to apply it what methods could be used. It's very, very um, interesting to, um, to learn how to apply TDR and the different methods which we uh, were introduced um, uh, here. A lot of different topics being talked about. We had the social inequality, the environmental and the migration part, which um, was really interesting because we had a focus on the Mekong Delta, which we didn't have in our preparation in Vienna. So it was really nice to see how transdisciplinary research is being applied here, very regional. Fortidia is quite new for me. It's interesting to know that we should collect information from academic sector and non-academic sector to solve the problems. You can hold the field trip so that I can practice what I already learned and I can learn and then practice. The idea of how to structure and select a field trip for this summer school named field trip uh, is um, originated from the idea how we can connect the local knowledge with the knowledge from the university and institution uh, to apply our methodologies of training disciplinarity. Our team um, developed the idea to select a field trip from last year in September. From the idea of a thematic topic related to on field site in the future from March 23rd to March 27, 2019, participants will explore with specific problems and solutions for the environment, inequality and migration issues to be able to share and visualize a relatively general picture of the Mekong Delta in many different stories from cities and provinces, including Ho Chi Minh City, Bình Dương, Javan, Đồng Tháp, Sóc Trăng and Canto. More importantly, participants have a good chance to discuss and work with 
among academic stakeholders in training similarity of perspectives in every field site to fulfill their learning process. Today I was in the field trip number three in Chaving and we explored and learned about the salinity intrusion uh, problem and during the field trip I got the chance to uh, do and at the same time learn what can be done for, with TDR when it comes to a real social issue and here it is the climate change and salinity intrusion. So due to the limited of time, we, could, we didn't have the chance to um, get too much information but we uh, work with different stakeholders including the local farmers, NGOs and the local authorities and we find, we see different perspectives and different opinions of people. But I think this is where the, this is the part that TDR plays its role, where it can connect uh, different perspectives and get people sit down together to really come up with a solution to a, a share benefits and in order to solve it. And I realized that the TDR can be a very good uh, method that can strengthen the connection between different stakeholders uh, in climate change in specifically and in general uh, a, a real social issue and I think that TDR has a very high potential uh, when it comes to study um, practical and real social issue and in order to engage different stakeholders, different parties to really come up with a solution. I am uh, joining uh, the summer school in Group 4. We went to the Long Tom Islands, which is uh, located in uh, Mekong Delta. It was very, very interesting experience for us because like, we learned about TDR approach and we try to apply it to use in field. That area is kind of very challenging for us because of the like, culture limitation and also political challenge. So it's difficult for us to kind of try to uh, apply the, the, the approach to, to study. So kind of every time we conducting the, the information, we have to uh, kind of like discussion and like apply or adapt uh, the, the knowledge that we have uh, to the summer school in the classroom to, to, to the field. That, that was we have kind of challenge to the field trip. And furthermore, the village that we visited itself is also very, very interesting because of the like, local people, are, are, they are very, like, rely on their livelihoods, their uh, common and uh, natural resources. So uh, I think uh, it's good for, for us to learn about their life because Mekong Delta is not a, a stay alone, it share. Uh, resources with uh, all countries around uh, Mekong Basin. So I think for furthermore research must be very, very right, important for the research and the collaboration in the international level is very For the past three days, we have uh, intensive uh, in interviews and uh, official and unofficial interviews with uh, different stakeholders from at different levels, from the provincial level, district level, and uh, also the commune level. So our research topic is about landslides. And during the different levels of uh, interview, I realized that being a researcher, we are not supposed to have a presumed assumption over to the topics that we are going to because uh, the, our prime focus is about landslide but during this process we find that landslide is only our projection bias to the local communities. Their concerns of livelihoods are much more complex and multifaceted than our expectation. So during this process we have worked with them to create knowledge to uh, introduce TDR into our research projects and that come out to be partially very productive and fruitful. I wish we can continue the further uh, research into, into this project and that is a very interesting topic. Number six, and we went to this small village in the province of Shok Tran and the village is called Ban Lan. 
um, and uh, the, the, the topic we were appointed by not is migration, but we decided to leave the topic kind of open because we're not sure what the, the real problems are facing the villagers and we're not sure whether migration is uh, a drive, is, a, is something that drives them out of the village or not. So we kind of went there with an open heart. But the thing I also very enjoyed in, in the village is that we actually live in, within the village in one of the migrants, inside one of the migrants' house. So that house was left empty. And we get really to, to know the, the ambience or the vibe within the village. And, and we can see they're struggling with life and also how some of them are very positive. Some of, some, of, some of them are not about the future. And we get to interview them fairly easily because they're just around us. Yeah, we also interview some of the authorities and the union members so we can get an um, overall picture of the, the area, including the village. Um, yeah, but we haven't really, um, yeah, given the time constraint, I guess, we haven't really found uh, a perfect candidate for the, the cooperation. But we can start from, from, from the future, from now, I guess. <laughs> In future of one, we went to the Bin Yun province and focus on the migration stream, the queer migration stream topic. And in this field trip, we had the great experience, a great chance to talk to different queer migrants and to hear from them how um, they came to the province uh, and how they deal with the daily um, challenges. And it was quite interesting to have this opportunity and to get those. Um, interesting insights of their daily life and how they tackle with their daily challenges. Yeah, we, we tried to implement the uh, TDR approach, for example by having um, a soccer game together and to try to bond with the Khmer workers, which was a great, uh, great um, experience. And in that way we were able to build up relationships at least a little bit. Yeah, in our field trip we had interviews, uh, for example, with Khmer workers, especially women who work at the factories, and uh, as well as uh, interviews with the landlords of the Khmer worker um, accommodations, and as well as with um, local authorities, um, which um, enabled us to have a broad view on this migrant topic. Part of field trip number seven, we went uh, to Kanto district in Mekong Delta to investigate there a little bit about the topic of international marriages. And overall, uh, it was really important uh, learning experience for me to work in this team of uh, very interesting students and academics and organizers of the whole summer school. Uh, and uh, also it was great to see how our idea of applying transdisciplinarity was slowly changing throughout the whole trip uh, and also the opportunity that we got here to meet with all the actors and to interview uh, all, all the women and organizations. Uh, I really appreciate it because I'm fully aware of the fact that uh, uh, here it requires quite a preparation uh, so uh, we met, for example, with uh, Women's Union, which is one um, local organization uh, which uh, works with, uh, with women in the area. And then we also met uh, Intercultural Korean Center, which uh, sort of prepares or, or orientates uh, women who are leaving uh, for the international marriage. And then we also had a chance to speak with some returned women or women that were about to leave the country. So putting all these little pieces of the puzzle together uh, was a great uh, and a very um, strong experience for me. We had the opportunity to visit the Bintan district and um, meet a lot of people there. We were able to go to different companies and we were um, doing some plastic recycling, which was very interesting. and. We also met a lot of migrant workers there and had the opportunity to um, visit their houses, to talk to them and um, really um, get an insight of their livelihood there. 
which was very interesting for us. We also had the opportunity to meet um, some um, authorities as well and um, to work with um, non-academic stakeholders from the beginning, which was very, very interesting. They um, joined us from the beginning and uh, helped us to raise a kind of open research question which we then adapted within the Binten district and um, it was very exciting and also very interesting to um, try out and to see what TDR is all about. <laughs>